What is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video. Uh, I honestly have no idea when you guys are going to be seeing this video, so I'm probably going to look a little bit different from now until then because this is going to be a build video. So as some of you guys may know, I built a, uh, a dart frog, well I didn't build a dart frog enclosure. I did a live planted bioactive dart frog enclosure and uh, it went really well, it looked great, but I am getting an Amazon tree boa um, at some point. So this video is going to be me building out the whole entire cage. Yes, not just doing like a live planted cage, I am literally building a four foot by two foot by two foot enclosure. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. So you can see it's gonna be 24 inches, by originally it was supposed to be 36 inches but they only had two by four pieces so this is going to be 24 by 48 inches it's going to be on like a little table have this little outer edge um be still wood then the squiggles be glass there's going to be a hole cut right there for heat and i'm going to mount um there's going to be led lighting at the top so i'll have leds for actual plant growth much like the dart frog enclosure this isn't going to have a waterfall or anything like that just because it's not really necessary but um this is going to i want it to be all live planted um so i'm actually sealing all this i have a sealer and stuff so this whole video it might be kind of long um and i've also never done anything like this i've never done any real like carpentry quote unquote or like cage building so i'm kind of just going off you know stuff that i've seen i don't really have like a tutorial i haven't watch any building videos or anything like that, but I'm pretty much just gonna go for it. Um, so without further ado, step one, we are going to put that together tonight, um, just to have the actual you know shape laid out, and then I might seal it tonight as well, um, depending on how cold it is outside. It's supposed to be above 50 degrees, and it might be a little bit colder than that here in southeast Louisiana. Um, but we'll see. For now, let's start building. Don't be all judgy like that I'm doing it in the dining room. I ain't got nowhere to do it. Cars in the garage. You know, whatever. I'm figuring it out as I go. It's not going great, but it's not going horrible. The screws I got are too big, but we'll be able to remedy all that once it's all done and I like start painting it and whatnot. Uh, I just want to give you guys a little update. So, we got it. You know, three sides, or four sides, I guess, have been put together, um, siliconed all of the edges, and then I sealed it with this uh, wood sealant stuff. Basically just, you know, silicone around the edges, that's super easy. And then down there, you can see it looks kind of weird. There were some spots where like screws went through the side, like right there. So I just siliconed all that in too, just to protect it from the humidity. Um, now though, I'm about to start building the background. And to do that, you use this stuff. It's called Great Stuff. If you watch Brian's like building the Reptarium videos, you probably saw him use this stuff. It's a really cool like spray on foam. Probably just gonna do like the first layer or so. I'll kind of show you how it works and then uh, I'll show you guys once I get the first couple layers done. So basically you just take this stuff and you pretty much just spray it like this. You just continuously do that, just back and forth, back and forth until you get one layer. Um, leaving a little spot right here, because this is going to be dirt down at the bottom, uh, so I want it all sealed. But yeah, just got to spend a, a few minutes and do all this. I'll bring you guys back once I get the full background done. So that's pretty much the first layer done on one side. So the same thing is going to be done on this side and this side um, pretty much all the way up and then there's gonna be like some structures that come off and whatnot this is all I can get done for probably today tomorrow I'll do this side and this side uh, that side's first layer so far so good not as hard as I thought it was gonna be so as you can see I got the three sides done with a uh, spray foam so I'm actually gonna go back in in a little bit and add uh, these sticks right here and kind of spray foam them in so they'll be solid but for now I'm gonna add this piece right here like this, I'm gonna have to trim up a little bit of that spray foam um, right here. And then I'm gonna use Flex Seal, uh, which is like a liquid rubber, 
and flex seal the whole entire bottom and then add a contractor bag because again this is going to be like a live planted cage so the whole bottom is all going to be like dirt uh, regular dirt with actual plants planted in it that's pretty much my uh, my project that i got to do right now trim up this foam and then uh, get this bottom board on. And then once I do that, I'll bring you guys back and I'll kind of show you what I'm thinking with the sticks and then I got some PVC to like put in the corners too, but I'll bring you guys back in just a second to show you that. So I got that bottom piece in and I started to like plan out how I'm gonna have the branches. So you can see I've got some PVC pipe, like this is just a white PVC, but that's gonna be painted. I'm gonna go do that in a minute. But this is pretty much what I'm thinking. So there's all kinds of different spots where there's like intersecting branches right there right here and then i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have the heat right here so this will be a nice basking spot and then you have you know different spots that it can lay all in the different gradient for a temp gradient and then we'll have like a side mounted water bowl right here um and then obviously there's going to be plants in here fake plants plants that come up from here with moss and whatnot pretty sure that's how i'm going to do it now i just have to go spray paint all of the uh, white pvc it's gonna be like a textured brown. Got all the PVC, so basically I just sanded it down um, with 1000 grit sandpaper, super, super fine, just to um, take a little bit of that shininess off. And then I've got them all hung up right outside just to make it easier to spray paint them. So that's what I'm about to do now. To give you guys an example of what I'm doing, I just take this, this is the PVC pipe that I painted. I'm filling it with just a little bit of this foam Pretty much just like that on both sides. Ooh, try not to do that much. So then I take it and I plug, I already have these holes like kind of pre-cut into there a little bit. And I basically just take it like that and set them there. And then once they're in like that, I just take a little bit more of this foam and just kind of put it in that just kind of holds it in place this stuff is actually pretty strong like if you guys see it right here you guys can see it's like it's pretty rigid you know what i mean it'll hold some weight um and then yeah just go back add a little bit more and then within like 15 to 20 minutes that should be relatively hard at least almost done that's all the pvc that i just got put in and now i'm just about to put in the real wood the next step for our project show you guys what we got so far so it's on the ground right now, obviously, but there it is with all the different sticks and PVC laid out. We're gonna take this brown silicone and cover that whole entire foam background with brown silicone, and then we are going to dump topsoil on top of that so it gives it kind of a textured, dirty back. That's what I'm about to do. Uh, I'm not gonna show you doing this just cause uh, I don't have my tripod at the moment, but when I do one of the other sides tomorrow, I will show you that so you can see just what I do. Okay guys, so it's been a few minutes since I worked on the cage. I uh, just had to work like really, really long hours and for a long time we had the Admiral visiting and whatnot. I believe the last thing I left off with is that I was gonna show you guys how I put the dirt on one of the sides. Uh, so I'm gonna have Kelsey film for me real quick and show you guys exactly what I do. So this is basically just regular number two silicone or two step, two stage, stage two, something like that. Um, and it's brown. So basically what I do is I take this and essentially you just spread it everywhere. Ideally you don't want the dirt you don't want it to be like kind of dirty how it is right here, um, but that kind of just happened. There's no avoiding it. So I said, screw it. Uh, I gotta fill in that spot right there. That's supposed to have foam, I forgot to do that. So I take this, usually takes about two tubes of this to uh, do one side. So this tube is out. So I'm gonna go throw a new tube on and then keep doing this. Once that's done and you get all the silicone in and you put on two pairs of gloves because you do not want silicone to get in your hands. It's not very easy to get off. You're just gonna take this silicone and just spread it. Try to get in all the little gaps, all the little cracks. Spread it all out. And basically this is gonna make it so that the dirt can stick to the foam. Because right, this foam is it's pretty solid, it's pretty hard. It's not sticky or tacky or anything like that anymore. Um, so that's what this, uh, that's what the silicone enables pretty much. It's just the dirt to stick to the foam. So once you're done with that, basically gonna look like that. Like I said, don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
because you're gonna have to go in and fill some spots anyways. Then we take just normal topsoil, just like this, and just spread it everywhere. Uh, so I gotta go ahead and do that now and just spread this all around and I'll show you guys what that looks like when it's done as well. Also, if you guys couldn't tell, the cage is sideways right now. Yeah, since it's a little bit of a different color than the other dirt just because this has to completely dry out. Um, so I'm gonna leave it sitting on its side for a couple hours and then basically just tip it and all the extra dirt will fall down there just like that. It's dry enough now, you can basically see that is what it's gonna look like. Um, so it's got all the different branches and PVC pipes and all that going all through it. Then that whole reservoir down there is going to be for, uh, for dirt and plants, like I said. But now basically what I have to do is just brush all this extra crap off because I want to be able to have like a good bearing of where there's dry spots like that and you know all these spots in this corner because I want all that to be filled in with dirt too. So basically that's what I have to do now. And then after I do that, uh, after I brush all the dirt away, I go back in, add silicone again where all those unfilled in spots are, or reapply some dirt to those uh, so you don't have like that weird white patchy look. After filling in most of the holes, this is where we are at. Obviously, I know still a lot more holes to fill in. Uh, I underestimated how much silicone I would need, so I didn't have enough. Um, so I'll have to go back to Home Depot like tomorrow or something, get some more silicone. Um, silicone those last couple spots. Probably not all of them because some of this is going to be covered by like plastic vines and whatnot too. I mean, I'm happy for the most part. Can't really complain. Might put the, the lid on, the roof or whatever, on tomorrow. Not 100% sure because I got to figure out how I'm going to do lighting. I don't know if I'm gonna do lighting underneath or on top. Kind of figure that out. Ideally, I would like a couple different angles of lighting, cause like, let me show you why. So again, depending on like where the lighting is, if it's like too far back, there's some weird shadows. If it's that way, there's some shadows. If it's that way, you know what I mean? Like just because of all the wood and stuff like that, create some weird shadows. Once I have some greenery in there and some stuff to absorb that light, I think that'll honestly help a ton. Um, so maybe me and Kelsey can go to like Michael's or something tomorrow and pick up some fake vines and stuff like that. So far, so good. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think so far. For having no experience and not looking anything up, I'm pretty happy with my progress so far. So I'm not gonna lie, uh, I've kind of been slacking on giving you guys updates, but for kind of a couple good reasons. I mean, I think they're good reasons. <laughs> Scarlet screams now, just a life update. So if you guys hear her, sorry. Oh, she also, uh, says dada. -da. So her first word was hi. Uh, no, her first word was not hi. Hi is not a real word. Uh, her first word <laughs> was on like the 12th, December 12th. Um, that's what today is the 14th. If you were guys were curious, December 14th. Again, you guys probably aren't gonna see this video until like January, I would assume. But back to the point. So I've made some process progress on the cage. Uh, but I had my neighbor help me and I didn't want to like make him be on video and everything. So we got the door on, we got the glass in the door, got the lid on, and I got the hole punched in the lid. And I also put some LED backlighting, um, not for inside the cage, but around the back so it like glows. Uh, it's RGB lighting so it can be any color you want it to be. But it basically glows. I finished sealing the bottom. And I think that's pretty much all I haven't shown you guys. Basically just getting the door on and getting it like fully assembled. So right now it's legit fully assembled. Um, but I just went to a reptile show and got some cork bark. So I figured I could show you guys. I'm going to cut out some foam pieces and re-foam in the cork bark. And that's going to be to hold live plants uh, once it gets fully planted. So there it is. Uh, that's the door. The door needs a little work. I need to sand like right down in that corner because it doesn't like to close all the way. But there's gonna be two hinges right here. So big, huge front glass panel. Uh, that panel is like 36 by 22, I believe. 36 inches by 22 inches. Still need to go in and like silicone and dirt these edges, but I think I'm gonna do that with some moss. So I screwed up when I was putting it together and there's a gap right there. A gap right there. But it's gonna work out because I'm gonna put some like mesh or screen right there or like kind of like a chicken wire um so there's some ventilation too because obviously you want it to be ventilated well and aside from where the lights are going to be there's really no ventilation uh, i meant to show you guys as well these are the cork rounds that i have so a couple of them are you know relatively small but with holes in them some of them are just flats um this is a pretty cool one kind of want that like 
sticking in like this so a plant can come out of it. Uh, but yeah, all right, gotta frame out how I want all these to go in there. Hey guys, welcome back and uh, Merry Christmas. Today is December 26th, so Christmas was yesterday. You might notice a little bit difference. You might notice something a little bit different about me. Uh, my hair is blonde. Uh, we tried to dye it gray, gray didn't work, so now there's like blonde highlights. Right now it's not styled, it's kind of just all poofy, so it looks a little weird, uh, but you guys will see eventually uh, what it looks like styled, I'm sure. But we are back working on the enclosure a little bit more. You can see it's right there. Uh, right now it's just sitting on a bucket, which is not ideal. So I got some two by fours and another piece of two by two plywood. So I'm about to build a stand right now. And then we're also gonna silicone, add some sphagnum moss where I put those um, cork hides. And then essentially I'm gonna move my desk over. So this desk that's right here is gonna get slid a little bit that way. And the enclosure is gonna be placed in that corner, kind of facing like diagonally out. Uh, I also got some lights in there that I'll show you guys. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna frame out how I want this stand to look, and then once I get that done, I will show you guys the process of actually putting it together. Okay, so this is basically what I'm doing. So it's just two little frames just like this, and it's gonna have a cross link right there with that piece of plywood on top, and then the cage will sit flat on top. I'm not gonna bore you guys with the time lapse of me doing this. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock it out, and then I'll bring you guys back. And just like that, we are done. So, looks relatively simple. It is relatively simple. Uh, I'm gonna get some black poster board or something just to cover up all the sides so it looks solid. But uh, yeah, so it's 24 by 24 by 28. So 28 inches tall, 24 inches wide, and 24 inches deep. I have one more step actually that I have to do. Uh, I gotta cut a hole, but I'll, I'll show you guys that real quick. So like I was saying, I have one more thing to do um, before that, and basically, so you knew I had this hole cut out for heat. I didn't think about a hole for UVA, UVB though, so that's what this one right here is for. So I just used the uh, skill saw right there to go through and cut this hole out. Uh, so now basically the top looks like that with two holes. One of those being for UVA, UVB light, probably Arcadia T5 I think is what I'm gonna go with, and then the other one just being for a dome heat lamp. Here we go, we're gonna throw it on the stand. So, uh, it's pretty tall, if you guys can't tell. It's almost a little too tall, I think. So now that it's actually in the spot, uh, I don't think it looks too, too tall. I think it's just about perfect, because when I walk up to it, I'm like face level with halfway through, and then if I open it, I can pretty much get access to anywhere in the cage. Um, so, I think it looks pretty damn sweet, but I got something to show you guys. Watch this. Scarlett is very excited about it. But how sweet is that? So it's got RGB lighting all along the top and the back so that you can change it to like whatever color you want. Right now it's on like a strobe. I definitely think that is my favorite part of this whole entire thing. Uh, we're gonna go get Scarlett to bed real quick and then I'm gonna come down and start on the uh, siliconing. Uh, I got a bunch more silicone and I got some sphagnum moss in with the moss and then I went in with some cocoa, um, cocoa fiber as well just to try to switch up the colors a little bit. I mean, that's definitely gonna um, darken up a little bit and look a little bit less red but I think the moss gives it like a nice little pop to it. Alrighty y'all, so this video is already super long. I'm editing it right now and we are at 18 and a half minutes. So basically I just wanna run you guys through a couple quick things. Number one, why you're seeing it right now, because it's already 18 and a half minutes long, but I'm gonna do a whole nother video adding the plants and then a whole nother video once the animal actually gets here. I wasn't sure if I was gonna tell you guys, but I think I am, forest fanning, um, at Zoo Dreams on Instagram, coldbloodedcafe.com is his website, actually bought me a gift for this enclosure. It's gonna be an Amazon tree bow. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but um, I wanted to give you guys a couple updates. So one, as you can see, I got the stand done. So this is just a couple more two by four, two foot by four foot panels um, that I painted black. Uh, what else did I do? I cleaned up the glass a little bit. I added these right here, which are just the uh, like little thingies to make sure the cage stays closed. We went in, you guys already saw that the moss had been added and all of that stuff. This is still gonna be full up with dirt. Uh, I just need to buy the dirt and get the plants. 
And then I added in this screen right here and right there. That's just gonna be the screen that the lights are gonna sit on. And then for the issue where I had the gaps, I added some more screen so it closed. The screen actually sits flush in the front and the back, and then of course with the lights off, so it still glows and looks pretty legit. As I said, I could not be more happy with this build. I think it exceeded all of my expectations and it looks absolutely great. I cannot wait to get the live plants in there from Josh's frogs, as well as the animal from Forest. Um, I think we might even cohab, but we'll talk about that in a later video. But uh, yeah guys, for now, this is my awesome cage. Please let me know what you thought about this video. I would really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, turn that notification bell on. Do all the things so you get notified. And you can see when I add the live plants, when I add the mister, the fogger, and when we get the animal in there, it's gonna look so sick when it's done. Uh, but I really do appreciate you guys for watching. And if you made it to the end, comment what you think the name of this cage should be because I'm gonna go ahead and add the name of the cage right here. So I'll pick something that you guys say and I will add it for the name of the cage. So if you watch the end, uh, you get to pick the name for the cage possibly. Thank you guys again, peace.